Mr. Jack to invite us to perform at it. Yeah, and letting us practice on this stage first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My mom is making her famous potato salad. I can't wait. Wait till you taste my dad's barbecued hamburgers with his secret homemade sauce. Mm -hmm. Nothing beats my mom's apple pie. It's world famous. Well, at least my relatives. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be a wonder if we can get on stage. Or even move after that. Yeah. Well, that song looks ready. What about the next one? Do you have the tape, Peter? Oh, man. I can't believe I forgot. What? Peter. You're kidding. How are we supposed to practice this song on the stage if we don't have the music? I'm really sorry, you guys. I can run home and get it and bring it back here if you want. We only have the stage for another 15 minutes. The other groups have to practice, too. Okay, tell you what. We'll all go home and eat lunch, and then meet back at Colby's Clubhouse in an hour with the tape. Is that all right with everyone? Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. All right, see you in an hour. Yeah. Yeah. You guys! Hi! <laughs> How are you? I haven't seen you in so long. I know, I'm doing great. I miss you guys. I was just on my way to the hospital to visit a friend. Anyone we know? Um, do you know my friend Trevor? No. Oh. He went to my church youth group and about a year ago he got into a car accident. And he's still in the hospital? Yeah, he's still in a coma. You mean he's still in a coma after a year? Yeah, it's been really hard on his whole family. Well, is he getting any better? Um, well, he has his good days and bad days. Ten months is a long time. Yeah. Oh, well, listen, we're all meeting in Colby's Clubhouse in an hour to practice another song for the church picnic. Really? Why don't you go see Trevor and then meet us there so we can all pray for him? That yeah. sounds like a great idea, Steph. I'll catch you later in right. about an okay, hour. Bye. 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 Hello, girls. Hi. I went home and got the tape, Krista. It's all set up. Thanks. I hope Trevor gets better soon. Who's Trevor? He's 16, and he was in a car accident. He's been in a coma for 10 months now. 10 months? That's almost a year. Yeah, I wonder how his family's holding up. Well, I'm sure they could all use prayer, Stephanie. That has to be hard on them all. I think we should pray for him right now. Yeah. Lord, please be with Trevor and help him to get better. I just can't imagine what it would be like to be in a coma, asleep for 10 months. Lord, please be with Trevor and watch over him. And please give his family strength, Lord, because they all must be so tired. In Jesus' name, amen. I wonder if Trevor will ever really get better. That is completely in the Lord's hands, Rachel. He made Trevor in the first place, and only he knows what Trevor really needs. But I just wish there was something else we could do for him. Yeah. Yeah. Prayer is what the family needs most, Stephanie. They all need God's strength to make it through and to trust that God is in control and that he is there with them through all of this.
Hi. Oh, wow. You guys have all grown up so much. About a foot since I saw you last. <laughs> Hi, Colby. Hi, Kiera. I'm so glad you stopped by. Thanks. How is your friend? He's not doing so well, actually. He just had his 20th surgery. Yeah. yeah, but he's still hanging in there, and he looks pretty good, except for the fact that he's lost a lot of weight. Well, does he respond when people talk to him? Um, sometimes a little. I like to think that he hears me when I talk to him and sing to him, but I don't know. You know, I don't get it. Trevor's only 16. He has his whole life ahead of him. Why does God allow things like this to happen to someone that's so young? That is a difficult question, Stephanie, and it's one that nobody has a complete answer for except the Lord. I think there are some things that we just don't find out in this lifetime. Well, then why does God allow things like this to happen to Trevor's family? I mean, if they don't know why, what can they learn from it anyways? Well, first of all, the Lord has his eye on a much bigger picture than we do, Stephanie. We only see what's happening here and now. God sees what is going to happen, and he has a master plan. He tells us in the book of Romans, verse 828, that all things work together for good to those who love God and are called according to his purpose. for 10 months. I know, but actually there has been good that's come out of this. I mean, Trevor's family has gotten really close together and they've had to learn to depend on the Lord. Mm -hmm. I know this isn't exactly the same thing, but last year when my dog died, my dad told me that same verse. I didn't see how any good could come from my dog dying because he was like my best friend. Mm -hmm. But because my brother was sad too, we started hanging out. 
So now we're like best friends. That was very good, Kevin. You can see that God has a plan in all of that, even if it was hard. But I just don't understand how anything good could come from Trevor's suffering. I mean, it just seems like a waste. About 2,000 years ago, the day that Jesus died on the cross, people thought the same thing, Stephanie. How could any good thing come from Jesus dying? Why did God allow this? But a few days later, a miracle happened. Jesus rose out of the grave and he became alive again. <laughs> exactly. And because Jesus was a person like each of you, he could understand what you all go through. The Bible says that Jesus was tempted the same way as everybody else, but he suffered through that in order to fulfill God's master plan, and that was to die in your place so you could be with him forever in heaven. Yeah, so bringing us all into heaven made Jesus' suffering really worth it. That makes sense. Oh, I get it. God saw the bigger picture. He knew it was going to happen, and that was more important. Just like he sees the bigger picture with Trevor. Even if we don't always understand why God allows things to happen, God has a purpose. And sometimes it takes a very long time until we find out what that purpose is. Some things you may not know until you get to heaven. But there's always a purpose behind whatever God does. you my mom's potato salad was the best. You're right, Rachel. It's awesome. My dad wants your dad's recipe for his barbecue sauce, Danny. Now there's a switch. Dad's asking for recipes. <laughs> Wait till you taste my mom's apple pie. You better stay broke. Jake, you're supposed to wear that for the performance. You got another t-shirt under this one. My mom comes prepared. She knows you all right. Hey, Colby. I'd like you to meet Trevor's mom. Oh, I'm so pleased to meet you. It's nice to meet you too, Colby. Kara has told me so much about you. 
How is Trevor doing today? He's doing much better, and thank you for all your prayers. Well, we're all going to pray for Trevor every day from now on. And I'm sure the whole church family will, too. Oh, we appreciate that so much. Without prayer, we couldn't have made it through this. If you would all take a seat, we'd like to get started. First, we'd like to introduce the Colby kids who are going to minister to us through song. Hi, I'm Kiera. And um, this next song that we're going to be singing is very special to me. You see, I have a friend named Trevor. Trevor is 17, and about a year ago, he got into a major car accident. And because of that, he's been in a coma ever since. Trevor does know the Lord, and he's been a Christian for most of his life, actually. But it's still hard for me to realize why God allowed this to happen to him. I mean, what good could come out of all of this that him and his family have had to go through? The other day in Colby's clubhouse, Colby reminded me that Jesus suffered too, and that God had a much bigger plan for Jesus than just letting him die on the cross. And I know that God has a much bigger plan for Trevor too, and for all of us. So I'm just thankful to the Lord that he promises that all things work together for good to those who love God and are called according to his purpose. You may also have a family member or a friend who has suffered, or you may be suffering yourself. God has a plan for you too. Let Jesus into your heart, and while you may not know the reason for your suffering, God will comfort you in your pain. Write us at the address coming onto your screen, and let us know how we can pray for you. And remember, Jesus loves you. And we'll see you next time on Colby's Clubhouse. Bye-bye.